Nutrition is increasingly a top priority issue for developing nations around the globe, with many countries working hard to reduce high rates of undernutrition, child stunting and wasting. Nutrition is, however, a complex, multifaceted issue that interacts with many sectors. No longer seen as just a health concern, sectors such as agriculture and livestock, education, social protection, wash, women's empowerment and trade are all seen to play an important part in reducing undernutrition rates. It's now widely accepted that in order to successfully improve nutrition outcomes, governments in developing nations require a multi-sectoral approach to tackling this issue. Despite much political promise of such multi-sectoral efforts, relatively little research has actually been done on how these efforts are implemented. In 2017, the Emergency Nutrition Network carried out a research project to understand more about how multi-sectoral programming works on the ground. The research focused on three regional case studies in Matam, Senegal, Homa Bay, Kenya, and Kapovastu, Nepal. In each of these country regions, we interviewed a wide range of stakeholders across many government ministries and at varying levels of influence from the implementers on the ground to the policymakers at the heads of departments. We also spoke to NGOs and civil society organizations to gain their perspectives as well. Our aim was to understand their experiences as well as the challenges around implementing a multi-sectoral approach on the ground. Across these three case studies, we found a great variety of attitudes to multi-sectoral engagement, from places where sectors only hold coordination meetings together, to those where sectors set joint targets so that households receive a package of services, all with the aim of improving their nutritional status. We also found similarities across the case studies. Many stressed the challenges around setting up a monitoring and evaluation system and highlighted the importance of having a financial overview of a multi-sectoral approach. Following on from this 2017 research, in 2018, we completed three more case studies, this time in Ethiopia, Niger, and Bangladesh, all adding evidence to multi-sectoral programming at a sub-national level. If you'd like to find out more about this research, please take a look at the three case study videos on our YouTube channel, or you can read the full reports on ENN's website.